Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we'll be going over the August budget. I know I'm late today. Well tomorrow will be August 15th so we're halfway through the month and I'm just now sitting down to write out my budget. So I've been trying to be real conservative with my spending this month but I did have a couple things that come up and so I'll be going over that in today's budget. So let's get right to it. Alright guys so let's get started with August budget. I went on ahead and well this month I decided to get a calendar to do my month the full month and then I'll break down each paycheck in my notebook like I was um, previously so these I put these little washies or piece of washies here because that signifies my paydays so this month we had three paydays um, let's write payday on there see that and of course on the first we had rent as well as my as well as my internet so I just put new link and rent new link is 4528. I don't think I'm going to write them out so I don't my calendar. I'm just going to put where everything is due at. So then on the 15th, let's see, on the 14th, I have my Hulu. So today Hulu came out. So that's what I use for as cable. And then the 15th is Carnot. The 17th my student loans are due, so Navient. And the 23rd is American Express is due. And of course I'm going to put up here tides that I like to pay on each payday. Okay, it's bill. Let me make sure I put that on there. Alright, so that covers all um, um, my monthly expenses. Is for that are you know my fixed expenses for the month. And over here to the side, I'm going to do um, won't be to do, but it'll be goals. I guess I, I'll take this project side and I put goals. So my goals for August will be to reduce a grocery budget. and reduce eating out and find side hustles so extra and I do have one um, kind of a side hustle schedule for this weekend I have a photo shoot um, that Someone reached out to me to take some pictures of them and their kids. So hopefully that will be happening on Saturday and that will bring in some extra income for the month. Not not a lot, but it's a little bit a little bit, you know, it goes a long way. <laughs> so I'm gonna switch to this. So I went on ahead and did my first August paycheck, which was August 1st. Um I went on ahead and wrote down what came out of that paycheck so I paid my utilities which were 192.32 did I put that on the calendar I did not my utilities bill was was due on the 15th as well gosh I have a lot of stuff that comes out on the 15th so yeah so we pay that um, cell phone, although I do, I'm no longer with Verizon, but I did try out another cell phone company. Um, they didn't do so well as far as in my apartment, so I'm, I'm switching to Straight Talk, and I went on ahead and purchased the SIM card, and the SIM card and the plan that I signed up for um, total end up being forty nine fifty two, and I'm just gonna keep my same phone. Now this is how much I've spent so far for the month. zoom it 
Okay. So when groceries I spent $161.61. This, um, I had some other spending calculated in there, so I took it out and I broke it down so I know exactly where my money was going. And for gas, I've spent $90.96. Um, this is my niece. For her, I spent around $25. Um, trade school supplies. Because school just started back this month. Uh, so this was some, um, his the school that he goes to, they wear uniforms. So this was for his uniform shirts and pants as well. And um, school supplies like his folders and pens and all the little stuff they ask you to bring. So I ended up spending $152.42. I had to get tires this month. That was the um, unexpected expense that I ended up um, having to do this month. Well, I, I could have waited a little while longer, the mechanic said, but I just, I didn't trust it. I just wanted to go ahead and get new tires put on. So, getting those put on and um, buying the tires ended up being, um, I had that right. I know the tires were two sixty five oh eight, but yeah, my mouth that is not right. This is how much I will spend on this paycheck for the upcoming paycheck for the tires and uh, getting the tires put on. So uh, the, the paycheck that comes out on the fifteenth, sorry, can't get my words together. But for the fifteenth paycheck, they took out one hundred and thirty two dollars and fifty four cents. So my job will allow us to make payments for the tires. They will give us go ahead and give us the tires but and then they will take the payments out of our paycheck before we even get our check so it's very convenient and so it broke it up so I didn't have to do the whole lump sum in one although I could have but we'll just, I just did it in two payments so this check will take out $132.54 so I ended up spending $232.35 so far for those tires and then the next paycheck at the end of the month another one thirty two fifty four will come out um, then as far as miscellaneous spending, um, I got some um, hair products, so that was $19.25. Um, took out some cash to go to my niece's um, volleyball games, and I can't remember what else it was. I think it's including these. So, no, no, no. This $80, sorry, the $80 was from going to my niece's game and then me and Trey went to an event um, my job usually has a whole team there it was called Relay for Life but this year because of the dates got changed and things everyone we didn't do it as a team but me and Trey went anyway because I had to turn the money because I'm the captain saw the fundraising money that we raised I had to turn it in so we went out there and they have different vent different um team set up and they're selling things to raise money so I took out $20 in cash just to spend if Trey wanted something so that's what that was and then the cash I took out for um, my niece's game as well as my other niece's um, birthday I gave her some cash too so then we had an event at church that I ended up spending um, $24.14 so I had to get coffee and creamer and that was that and then me and Trey they went out to eat one well, yes we went and had pizza and it ended up being around $27 so that's that and then so that left me with a balance of $1,081 oh you can't see that so yeah there's the restaurant I don't know if you can see it in church but I spent and then that left me with $1,081.16 that I will roll over for my next paycheck tomorrow so we are going to go ahead and get started on the second paycheck budget. So August. Paycheck number two. Sorry, it's not the camera. Pay. Expenses. So I will be paying my car payment on this check. Which will be two ninety five seventy six. We pay my student loans with Navient. 
which will be $336.68. You guys, this has increased from last month. I'm on the graduated repayment plan. That's what it's called. So it increases a little each year, I do believe. Um, so yeah, so it went from, let's see, what was it? Last month. It was three, 324.69. So I think it increased by like $12. Yeah, so that is that. And then American Express. is 64.57 now I pay this in full each month because this um, payment includes my gym membership which is $15 which in this total there's two payments for my gym so there's July payment and August payment of $15 and then I have my renters insurance that comes out of here which is $24.58 and my Adobe for um, editing pictures, which is $9.99 a month. You can't really see them. So 15 from a gym, renter's insurance, $24.58, and Adobe, $9.99. But there's two um, gym payments in that $64.57. So that's how that total is there. And then... I'm going to pay my second half of my tides out of this paycheck as well. Which will be 175, I believe. Yep. So one second, let me get that total. Got my calculator. So let's see, we have let's see all of that. So Two ninety-five seventy-six plus You know what? I don't put my Hulu up here. Even though it's already come out, but it will be considered coming out on this paycheck. Is what we're gonna say. And it's five ninety nine, I think. Yeah. Five ninety nine. So it's eight seventy eight. Even. Here's my total. So then we have to do groceries. Um, I'm gonna do fun money or yeah, groceries. It's been two weeks worth. I'm gonna budget for Let's do $100. I want to try and save a little bit on my grocery bill. Sorry, groceries. So, I was doing 120 So, now for the next two weeks, I'm going to do 100 a week. So, let's do $200. Let's budget 200 for that. Fun money, I'm going to give us... Let's do 40 $20 for each week. Then we gas. And gas has increased a little bit. I do believe I was... Yes, I think I did I say I spent on gas. Gas I've already spent ninety ninety six, so yeah, I'm gonna go and just round that to ninety two dollars for the next two weeks. <laughs> this gas has not went down any, so not that I know of. I don't follow it much, but I don't think it has 
decrease any. So we'll say $92 for gas, fund money, and then, so this I will take, oh, we're gonna put cash, take out cash for that, and by the way, but uh, envelope what I wanna do. Let's just say miscellaneous. Oh, I need to do car maintenance, oh, sorry. We're gonna do 15 for that. And I'm gonna take cash out for that. And then household items and such. We'll do miscellaneous and I'm gonna do $40 for that. I'm gonna take out cash for that as well. So that total will be. I'm gonna do my cash total. It'll be what eighty ninety-five dollars in cash envelopes. Yeah. So total spent will be five plus two hundred for grocery. the 92 yes total $1,265 that right? yep and then let's see what we will have left something towards my debt snowball and I also want to say for my car insurance will be due in September so I'm gonna save a little bit out of this check and a little out of my next paycheck for the month So I have enough to, oh I forget I have a carryover balance that I can take into account. So let's add that. So that means I'm going to save 300 from this paycheck what I had carried over and I'm going to do remember I saved 200 from my last paycheck for my debt snowball so I'm going to add another we'll add 300 to this one and pay 500 for that Trying to make sure I didn't forget anything because I have a little bit left over. But I think I'm just going to put it towards my dead snowball. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. So I have about a little bit over 100, a few dollars over 100. So I'm going to do 600. Push my dad's snowball. So there we go. Total expenses. And what I plan on putting. I feel like I forget something because I have this much left over plus this much to save. So I'm going to check my numbers and I'll come right back because <laughs> I don't want to be here all day. But I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to check these numbers. something I feel like there's something I must be forgetting because I mean even though it's I mean that's an extra 900 right there not including my meal so 
Hmm. I don't remember. I never had that much. I usually just have like five hundred left after my paycheck. From my paycheck, I usually only have five hundred from my paycheck left after I do all my expenses. So I'm gonna check my numbers and then I'll come right back on and then I'll go over my debt snowball with you guys. So one second. Okay, guys. So my numbers were pretty. They were right. I double checked them, and so I'm going to do. I have enough to do 600 towards my debt snowball, and then my insurance is going to be $537.73. So I'm just going to go ahead and pay my car insurance so it's done and I can pay it in full, and everything else has been paid. This is crazy to me, but I guess that. I don't know. <laughs> I just did not expect to have that much left over. But I double checked my numbers and everything is paid for. My bills are paid. And of course, this will be the last thing I pay towards the end of the month. And I have another paycheck by the end, so I know I have it. But yeah, I just, I'm a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do my debt snowball payment, though. So, because I know I have that. So let's go move on to my debt snowball. Uh -oh, I'm gonna do it right here. Do I usually put that snowball or do I just put it? Yeah. So we have the lowest one. Student loan number four, and it is at $4,062.05. And then my car loan is at $6,836.30. And then student loan number two, I'm sorry, the next smallest one is one. And it is at $23,374.31. And then the biggest one is at $45,574.53. Yeah, each month that payment it just all goes to interest. Nothing even touches principal. Like some of the money that I pay, my monthly payment does go to principal on this loan. Maybe like 2 or $3, but still, nothing. All this is just interest. There's it's pretty much going up, not coming down. So I cannot wait to start paying that one down. So that is all of my debt. So my total debt is $79,847.19 and let's compare it to and I was able to pay $500 towards this towards my smallest last month so for July I was able to pay it and so yeah it's gone went down a little bit wait is that July I don't think I did it for July Oh, that is July. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, so in July it was eight thousand two hundred ninety-seven dollars, and we are now at seventy-nine thousand eight hundred and forty-seven dollars. Let's do the difference in that. Let's see what we got. Before I run out of space. It's only a difference of 450 15. So, yes. 
So I brought it down $450, although I did pay my $500 towards it. Um, the interest has added back up because I just checked these balances yesterday. So the interest has been added back on since I paid it. So just $450 is what I was able to bring it down to. Still better than nothing. So. Yep. So that is where I'm at, guys. That is my August budget and as well as my paycheck number two budget and a debt snowball update. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and I feel like I was all over the place, so I'm sorry because this was a kind of rushed because it's the 15th and I haven't even did my budget yet. So I wanted to come on and get it done and just lay it all out. I think I'm going to like the whole the calendar set up a little bit better though. Sorry. Put it out. As far as, you know, being able to see all my bills at once and then doing my paycheck to paycheck in my notebook. So, um, this calendar I got from Target, if anyone's want to know, it's by Day Designer. Thought it was very cute and I, I like to write on cute stuff and it's blue and then pink and purple, but not a fan of pink, but purple and blue. I do love those colors. So, that's why I picked it up. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, August budget. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below. If you have any suggestions on how to better, you know, lay out my budget or any tips on ways to save on groceries <laughs> and to cut my spending in those categories, let me know. Um, leave them down below. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.